Hi, I'm Barb Gilman, third grade teacher in Omaha, Nebraska at St. Margaret Mary School. And these are the recommended reads by my third graders. And this time I had them write uh, little summaries on there because I noticed I kept on saying these were really good books. So uh, there's a great practice for um, using our thesaurus and also adjectives. So let me start out with what we're reading right now as a read aloud. Bat and the Waiting Game. Um, really enjoying this. This is the second book to The Boy Called Bath, Bat, which one of my students said it was so cute. And uh, so this was um, the Global Read Aloud. So we're reading the second book to it. And of course, every classroom um, should have Raina Telgemeier books and Smile was recommended. It was exclusive. It was a book you gotta read. That's what my students <laughs> said. Um, oh my gosh. This is one of our Global Read Aloud picks and it says it's the best book she has ever read. Wow, she has, hasn't even finished. That's lovely. Love reading, hearing that. Ooh, I survived Tornado Terror. Um, Lucy V recommended it was a remarkable cliffhanger. Ooh, that's good like that word choice there. Um, oh, this was an awesome, funny book, Mr. Wolf's Class, The Mystery Club. Ooh, it's a graphic novel. So, nice. Um, yes, Harry Potter. And Harry Potter, unfortunately, is not in the final four. It got beat out by the one and only Ivan. But this was, um, oh, especially, oh, touching. Um, happy, sad, funny, exciting, magical. So lots of great adjectives for this book. Um, uh, oh, I survived again. These are always great. And this was uh, Nature Attacks. And lots of great stories was what the student said. Um, oh, wonderful, enjoyment-filled book. This is for Amulet, and this is Amulet number eight. Uh, we have, of course, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This is The Meltdown, and the student said, um, extraordinary, amazing, great, funny, hilarious. Lots of great adjectives for this book. Um, oh, now this book, um, Alan Gratz's book, Refugee. It is, um, the content is kind of rough for most third graders. I would say f fourth or fifth. But some of my third graders, um, they talk a lot about um, issues like refugees. So this is um, something that they, they can handle and discuss with their parents. And I encourage my students to discuss these good books with their parents. But this one says, ooh, touching book that shows noble people on journeys. Wow, that's a great little review. Now, um, this book, uh, I had three kids check this out, Lewis Sacker's Fuzzy Mud, after they saw it on the um, Global March Book Madness grid, and they said, kind of scary, but super interesting. Oh, they gave it 100 stars. Nice. And that's what I'm enjoying about the Global March Book Madness. The kids are... Um, uh, talking to each other about the books even more. So a lot of books are passing, being passed around. Well, for example, um, out of my mind, this is being passed around from kid to kid. After one kid, student reads it, the other ones, um, let's see, oh, emotional and an amazing book. Let's see, we got here, uh, touching, loving, so out of my mind has been passed around. And they both got checked out of our library, so um, makes our librarian happy. And Sharon Draper also wrote um, Blended. And last month, I was able to borrow this from one of my students. It was on my whole list at the library. And she loaned it to me, and I read it over spring break. And um, let's see, this child said, super touching, kind of scary, but teaches very good lessons. And talking about... Um, the color of your skin, and also about blended families. So it was good. We, I had a great time talking to the girls that had read it. And 
Um, we were saying how in the middle, everything was going so great for this family, and then you were like shocked what happened. So that was a great book. Ah, Goosebumps. And uh, the word was astonishing. That's great. Great. See, I got to say, I'm saying great again. Ah, entertaining for the trouble with chickens. Um, oh, yes. Informational. Where is Area 51? Love all these who is, where is, what was books. So and this was funny because it came up in our um, state book, st our state reports, the people who had Nevada, they were explaining Area 51, so I ordered it from Scholastic. Of course, Dogman, outstanding and so good, is what the student said. Um, the Losers Club, Andrew Clements, it is very good. Instead of good, it's very good. Oh, and she also said it was very funny. Um, oh, this was also on um, Global March Book Madness, Hardy Boys, and it's graphic novel. So um, I bought the set of four, and they said it was an exciting mystery and dramatic. So that's nice. I love seeing these books reimagined. Um, picked up this from Scholastic Click. And it was good because the characters have a lot of talent. Oh, nice. So that's, that looks good. Um, oh, this is one of the books that made it into the final four. Gordman, Gordon Corman, Restart. And fascinating, in entertaining, attractive. Okay. We also have School Days According to Humphrey. Exclusive book, dramatic. Read it. <laughs> they did a great job describing their book and using short words. Oh, for fake mustache, this child said it was a majestic mustache. Now, that'll make you, the picture and the majestic mustache will make you want to read it. Ah, another dog man cat kid. These get reread. They just love these. Um, a very detailed book. So that was, that was highly recommended. Um, Holes, another Lewis Sacker book, and it was a very detailed, super interesting. So um, I also want to show you, um, this is The Pope's Cat by John Sweeney. It is a new series. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> the other two books are, I'm using to prop up my iPad, but it's an imaginative story about if the Pope had a cat. So my students are in, um, enjoyed it. It was, it was good because it had some really good vocabulary for the students. Um, explained uh, the, um, uh, the papal guards and, and had some good vocabulary that I could talk to my, my students about them. So uh, I recommend this for your classroom too. So that's it. And I hope you enjoyed hearing what the third graders are reading. Thanks.